Hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl Super League Week 2. Um, we have a Group B match between Monitor and Strider. Monitor in blue, Strider in red, both Wood Elves, no tree for Monitor, and lots of dodge. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello, Dimmy. Hello. The knob champ. Aren't you the champ of knobs, Imperial Mobility? I, I do have joint best ever record of nobility in black box trophy history i think there you go the premier knob uh week two i said kaylon it's week three i shouldn't have said week poo it's week three um yeah, errata errata and uh you can see that let's flash up the table here before it starts you can see monitor is won and drawn and strider is won and lost so these t are two of the top top half teams here so very interesting. You could say super, super interesting. interesting. Yeah. This is like, isn't this the first woody mirror of like seven woody mirrors or something? <laughs> three woody mirrors, yes. This is the first of three. Or, to call No, but they Kalon, play each other like... Three. Is it? No, but there's three woody teams in this group, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. There's, there's, so there's going to be more than three mirrors because no. they're going to... What? what? No. Strider plays monitor. Strider plays tree. And tree plays monitor. Oh, okay, right, okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that kick. <laughs> Brutal, yeah. But he got the he got the uh, high kick, so Daka. at least it's Daka, not Daka. as bad. Monitor likes to bang as well, doesn't he? He plays like a bang on. He bangs, he bangs, just like Ricky Martin. Oh, that was that was going to be my prediction that his war dancer was going to get armor broken on turn one, but this. <laughs> He's won the toss. We need, we need to wait for yeah. the second half. <laughs> He's actually protected him this time, though. He's got the dodges in front. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. He can out. just smash it with a tree now. <laughs> <laughs> but only on two dice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it. A lot of dodge. I quite like this dodge spam. Yeah, it's not terrible, is it? It's like Amazon-esque woodies. Yeah. Yeah. And Amazon are a good flipping team, aren't they? Amazons put... are incredible. Oh, my God. I'll put this on so you can see what the catchers look like. Um, like Ginger with long hair. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blue, the ones with the blue circles, yeah. Yeah. And then the purple circles thrower. There's a thrower? Yeah. There's one thrower <laughs> and two catchers. I think I think Amazons are the one team at tabletop that like I think they're the most misery inducing team when you found out you've drawn them. <laughs> if you're not dwarves, yeah, and even if you are dwarves, because they've yeah, got too yeah, defensive, yeah. Like because it used to be underworld. It used to be like, oh, I'm playing against Varag underworld, and it's just like I just don't want to play this game. And then now it's I think it's Amazons. I think vampires are up there surprisingly. I think. Like, it's not so much, because I've got a pretty good record against vampires, but it's it's more the, oh my god, this is going to really hurt my brain and be like, <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? There's so much going on in that game. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Two assassins. I wonder how much people like woody mirrors. Yeah. I guess it's not a very, like, I bet then... They're not very happy about it. I don't know. Maybe they are. I bet they're not as happy as people watching them, right? Because like they're they're, they're yeah, to watch, but stressful to play. And there's just so much going on. Like they're both capable of so much stuff, right? Yeah. Tree. I feel the tree's gonna struggle in this one. It'll be interesting to it'll be interesting to see if the tree gets a punch in before it roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I might even put that. A, a let root, me. Root, do you think? Let me put that in a prediction. <laughs> Will the tree punch before it roots? <laughs> I mean, it's very easy just to keep dodging away from it, isn't it? So maybe not.
Right, I've only put two minutes on it because we're in the middle of the game. So, right. prediction, will the tree root before it punches something? Yeah. Feel free to uh, pile in with your gym shards. Yeah. I wouldn't say lizards hard body zones, but um, it's it's like it's the thing is it's like it depends it depends how good people are, doesn't it? It depends how good people are, you know. People think that wood elves hard body lizards, but they don't if you know how to play. So. Yep. But obviously new zones are worse, right? Because new zones don't have all the blotch. Depends if there's... Yeah, but they have long. strength 4. So, like... And they have pit and run. And they have, like, jump up. They have... All sorts of mental stuff. It can't be as bad as when they had, like, 6 blodges and 4 guard, though, can it, right? Well, yeah. Because, like, they've got the strength 4 blitz, right? And it's just... It it it's definitely a thing, right? I reckon it's close to fifty fifty. I mean as all are things if people know what they're doing, right? But the stats might might say it's the other way just because most people are rubbish. Oh the tree is gonna get a hit in. He Mind is. you, if he roots if he roots before he hits, then that, that I'm still I'm still <laughs> I am pretty rooted. I played. Pl I played lizards once with the songs, and I drew. Didn't seem hard, particularly. But you know, I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> in 2020, yes. What'd you say? I said I have played Lizard Men with Amazons in Blood Bowl 2020 once, and it, it wasn't particularly difficult. But I am. Who, who did you play? Yeah, who did you? When was that? When was that? It was a while was, ago. Who did you play against? Someone you've heard of, or? I. It was like coaching. It was coaching on fun. Oh, uh, right, okay. Well, that's about of a count, is it? Yeah, it was a good player. Good player, and we played. Uh... Did you learn anything? Um, I mean, I learned that uh, depend. You know, a lot of it comes down to whether uh, whether Morg does anything or not. <laughs> <laughs> and Morg didn't really do a whole lot, but uh, still, you know, drew. It was like the World Cup teams. So I was like, "Ooh, I quite like that Zons be uh, having having Morg for the World Cup." And I kind of stand by that assessment. I thought it was pretty decent. No spoilers. Yeah, well, I mean, we watched a bit of it, and it was already wild in the little bit that we watched. So I'm sure, I'm sure the whole match will be good. I mean, every every Olivia match versus elves is going to be good, right? Not so much against the bash because sometimes the bash will just cream him. <laughs> so it's not as guaranteed to be good against the bash teams, but I think it's pretty guaranteed to be good against the L teams. It's insane. Right. I'll be honest, Dimmy, I haven't watched this game at all. Has anything happened? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just creeping up the sideline. Mm, very tight, isn't it? And, and the tree. It is. The tree this moving like, I, <clears throat> I've seen a um, monitor play elves, and he he plays them like a bash team, right? And I don't know. I don't mean that like disrespectfully or anything. I just mean he plays like he tries to max his hit and pages and stays together. Mm. Like he plays them. Like he almost plays them kind of like dark elves or like. Oh, like dwarves. His name of his team is yeah. like. Uh, his, yeah, his yeah, not yeah. like quite like dwarves. And it, oh my god, he appled that. So he, he he took a badly hurt lineman and appled it, which is reasonable, yeah. right? Like he's only got eleven players. Just mm. use the appo straight away, and it's yeah. guaranteed to work. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. 
tree could go in here on four players, couldn't it? Which is quite strong. I'm not saying he will, but he could. Yeah, he's going to root and just stand there. <laughs> think there's any uh, crazy surfs on. Yeah, I paid it out already, Kaden. Like only people people predicted the right answer anyway, and then no one predicted yes, so <laughs> it was probably not the best prediction. Gloss <laughs> over. Yeah, he just put the tree in there. Yeah, I quite like the tree in there. Just maximize the players in contact with it, right? And then you can you can kind of surround these a little bit to try and hold all of these in and just try and squash down in the corner more. Well, not the corner, is it? But if you try and surround them and, you know, do something, get them to run out of space. At the moment, though, they do have, like, they can just all dodge out right here, so it'll surely try and put more around the back as well, somehow. In putting the side stuff in next bird looks pretty good. Does doesn't it, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine it will put the side stepper in there. What a pickle this is! It Bloody is, hell, I is. did not anticipate this on turn four. No, he really jammed himself in. Now the thing is, obviously, if he can switch sides and get away from the tree, that's great then, isn't it? He can get far away from the tree, but um the prob like the problem is he, he is really in Oh it doesn't put the side stepper in. Super interesting. It's um like honestly, the board states in some of these BBSL games, like if you just dipped in on turn four or five and looked <laughs> at the boards, you'd be like, How the hell have they got there? Like honestly, <laughs> like and they're like some of the best players on like BB3 and like their games don't go as I would imagine like obviously you can't like mind map a whole game and stuff but I mean if you tuned into this game just now you'd <laughs> think how have we got here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how have yeah. we got here? What has happened? Yeah I mean this is Was a particularly a wild looking game. A split yeah. or something like yeah. right, you know? Yeah. Uh, but This is a particularly wild looking game. Honestly like that was that was some of the best things ever about running my own tournament and not playing was just walking around and glancing at people's board states mm. and just thinking and like honestly it made me realize just how mental blood bowl is <laughs> because like there was a lot of like shenanigans a lot of kickoff events that were doing crazy things i mean this is all just self-induced mentalness really yeah. Like, it's yeah i would have definitely by the way had the had the dancer back and handed off to the dancer because I'm pretty scared really? of like of the you know the, the the losing the ball. So yeah, I would have definitely tried to get the ball on the dancer this turn, but fair enough. <laughs> you might wonder how we got here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what was that? What was that great show that used to be on like Channel Five? Was it? Um... Like it was set in America and it had the voiceover like the whole way through it. It was like why did he? Oh, um, um I, no, go on, talk about, I'll talk about I, I don't know why this this player is getting surfed, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if there was any way to have not had this player surfed. I guess he just had to power this wrestler. So yeah, this this catch is definitely getting surfed. Maybe this catcher as well may may get a double surf here. Oh, and he can't turn dodge off, can he? Uh, no, he can at the sideline. But there might still be a double surf. We shall see. I, I don't know what game you, I don't know what show you're talking about, to be honest, Imra. I'll, re I'll remember it at some point. Don't worry, you, you crack on. Okay. 15 new players in his, in his, in his gaming store, Cable. That's wild, isn't it? Imagine new players wanting to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, but it's like out of what a hundred new players, you'll get like five people who like convert to Blood Bowl, and it will be their way of life forever. <laughs> you'll get like seventy-three of them like quit and think it's nonsense within like two games, <laughs> uh, and then you'll get like twenty that will play it, and then probably like go to a tournament or two, and then. The new Age of Sigma will come out, and they'll just play that instead. 
Does uh, Thulian like own that place in Sheffield, or he works there? He just works there. Okay. Yeah, it's the outpost, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, outpost, yeah. It's a good place to buy stuff, actually. Mm -hmm. They always have discounts. I outpost. Got, ooh, I got a, uh, I got a intro game on Warmer Hordes in the uh, in the outpost. Ooh, this is pretty nice. And the guy who gave me the intro game was like, "Oh my god, like you're a tactical genius. I've never seen anybody be this good in the first <laughs> game and stuff." <laughs> he did. He was like, it's like, yeah." I was like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's, so that, that yeah, this got is really ball, nice, Jimbo. And he's stripped. Absolute treat. Absolute cinema. Yeah. Great turn. Oh my See, god. this is why I would put it on the dancer, but never mind. Never mind, Jim. You didn't get knocked over, but then you got stripped anyways. Like, you know, it's not that much more protection getting on the dancer anyway, is it? So, maybe I was wrong to try and get it on the dancer. Honestly, like, how are we in this position I've where, no like, idea. there's, like, eight elves within 12 squares all on yeah. the same team it's just madness this is looking like terrible for for strider now though isn't it yeah yeah because he just runs around the side yeah it? yeah so while this was very nice to get all of these chains in now it's just like choose <laughs> and the whole team's up here choose <laughs> What, the kids or the ladies? <laughs> the ladies. I've never met a lady in real life. Yeah, I've been trying to like teach my son Blood Bowl. And like, we've done two sessions and it's really hard to teach a nine-year-old how to play Blood Bowl just quietly. And yeah. if anyone has any recommendations, feel free to like DM me and stuff. Well, I'd and, say uh, first uh, learn how to play yourself to me. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> just joking, of course. Um, I don't think, you know, I think that's probably beyond you at this point. But uh, no, I don't know, like, yeah. Uh, my my yeah. intro, I I yeah. The, the intro games is how Games Workshop do right. G games Workshop do it by intro games, just playing, and talking through things as you play them. So I guess that is the way to do it. Like I learned just because I read the rules. That's how I learned when I was nine. <laughs> That's just insane. Yeah. I just read all of the rules and knew how to play. Um. But Why has he left the back end open? Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's got oh, the GFN now. Now he can 3 2 with his last guy, can't he? He's got dodge. Yep. 3 2 out with him. He's looking pretty good. 3 2. 3 2. Oh. I mean, that's okay as well. Yeah. And that's only 2 plus, and you're marking a down play. Like, maybe that was right to do that one first. Yeah, yeah it probably was. I didn't. I didn't hate him just leaving him down there, right? Because then they, he's got to leave somebody on him as well. Then he can three two away. But then I guess getting the two plus out into like kind of a worse position is maybe maybe better because then you've got him up for the next turn. Um, but yeah, yeah. Intro games is how Games Workshop did it for. Like that's how Games Workshop did. It. I don't know. I haven't played forever, but you know, for 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 twenty years of my life, that's how Games Workshop did it. Was was intro games so. Yep. I hope you weren't disgusted by me saying that to me. I wasn't trying to be mean to you. No, no, it's absolutely fine, mate. I'm not mental. I'm. I am a moron, but I'm not mental. Okay, good. I don't. I don't actually think you're a moron. Let me clarify. <laughs> Let me clarify <laughs> that I don't actually think you're a moron. I said that to my friend once because uh, 
<laughs> you said I don't think you're a moron. <laughs> yeah, he was doing something with a knife, and I was like, I, I was like, aren't you gonna cut it away from me? And he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna cut it like this. Do you think I'm a fucking moron? And I was like, yeah, I did think he was gonna cut. It. I was, I couldn't believe. It. I was like, is he fucking mental? <laughs> but then he was just like, he was just like lining it up the wrong way around for some reason. I thought, what the fuck, you like? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was genuinely concerned that he was insane, and he was just gonna start <laughs> trying to cut things towards him with a with a Stanley knife, but he didn't. <laughs> that was an incredible story, Jim. It was a great one, wasn't it? But he was like, yeah, it was funny. It was funny at the time. He was like, do you think I'm, <laughs> think I'm fucking insane? And I was like, <clears throat> should I say yes? Because <laughs> he was pretty insane. <laughs> this is pretty rough, isn't it? How do you get through here? Uh, this is a catcher. You... Yeah, I don't think you go through. I think you go around, right? You can't get around. You're definitely you not going tree side, so you've got to go left. Right. Get up to there. I guess you can get quite far, maybe. And you've got it's turn six. You don't have to get that far in, but it's pretty tricky, isn't it? <laughs> I'd be really interested to know, like, just how many games Tom Woody's monitor has, because I, I like. He doesn't play like a woody coach. No, he doesn't. I mean, they're quite like dwarves, yeah. I, I don't know how many games he's played. I don't know if he's... If, I, it's weird, right? Because we, we don't know the coach name from... Um, oh, I hate this. All right, he gets away with it. Because um, he's got a tackle right here, hasn't he? So I would have thought, like, okay, if you double one it, you double one it. But make a blitz with, with, block is, uh, with tackle is probably better, right? Um, but anyway... Uh, yeah, we didn't know him before Blood Bowl 3, did we? Like, we don't know the name from Blood Bowl 2. So, I don't know if he's just started or if he's, like, you know, an alt of something. You know, if he, if he played Blood Bowl 2 and this is an alt or he played Fumble and this is an alt. But it's a not, a not a name that we recognise. So, that's interesting as to whether he is, like, you know... Um, you know, maybe he's played tabletop. I, I really don't know where he's come from. So, you know, yeah, don't have no idea how much elves he's played. But all, I think he's, like, top... 10 or something in the ladder with Skaven. I seem to recall something about that on Chunter's Discord. So I think he's played a bit of Skaven, but this is like, so yeah, it's, like, so this is a good formation because it stops the leaps in, right? Like, it makes the leaps in way harder, right? Like, the more, the more the yeah. tight a cage you've got is better versus a dancer. But the problem you is, that's only, progress. like, one part of it, isn't it? Because you do need penetration. You do he's done need all right, like... As well. He's, I think, from memory, he's been scoring on turn eight. Like, it, was it? Was his last game against? Was it Monitor versus Kfo the last? It was, wasn't it? Um, I was it Monitor Kfo? His first game was against Olivier. Second game was against Kfo. Maybe. <laughs> I can tell you I'm the results. I'm here. pretty sure. Yeah, he's the lad who did the wildly inaccurate pass and scored anyway. Um, yeah, we've got monitor one one versus Olivia and one nil versus Kevo. Big Kev, as he's known. Oh, so Strider going for this blitz because, of course, this was like the. Uh, the kind of breakaway threat, wasn't he? And then just screening this. I've, I didn't hate breaking through last turn, honestly, because, yeah, the problem is you've got to break through at some point, right? So I would have tried to break through that catcher last turn. I don't know how. Yeah, he's going to have to dodge that line, I think, and then fill in that middle square, because otherwise he's just going to shut through the middle line. Interesting guys, front side. <clears throat> front side. It's rough, isn't it? It really is rough. The problem with front side is it gives him the 3 2 through now, right? Yeah, you can Whereas three, if you. Two, yeah. 3 2, but I mean, 3 2 isn't very good, is it? And he's got to get loads of players through. So. 
do you just well, it's up better than like it's better than if he put the lino behind because if you put the lino behind then he's just going sideways he's not going through at yeah, all yeah I, yeah i would have put him there i'm surprised if he put that there well no no because then he could have gone laterally through but yeah but how fast are the woodies i mean i know they're fast but they're not going anywhere they're just going they're going to the head mm. straight towards that tree aren't they you know, it's yeah. the root tree give it but yeah. Yeah, this is i think this is I think this is, I mean, it's not great, but I think it's significantly better than just running laterally. Is it laterally? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or Trexley. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is if it fails, or isn't it? This is the thing. The problem is if, if any of these dodges fails, he's fucked. So, um, like, there's an argument for not even trying. <laughs> because if you don't try, you go in at nil-nil. And if you try, there's a chance you go in one nil down. Because there's a lot of 1-9s you've got to make. Yeah. And if you succeed, there's a chance you're going at 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. Super interesting. Oh, he's just going to run a couple of receivers through and keep the cage. Or maybe just one receiver. No. He's going to hand off to this guy, who's the thrower, and then have two receivers. If he can. Okay, I don't hate this. So obviously the cage isn't great, and he's only got it when he's going to try and get two receivers. But if he doesn't get the second, then the receiver just gets blitzed. Okay, he gets the second. Yeah, this is pretty decent, isn't it, actually? Pretty decent. Does Olivier go for the 1D on the ball? I don't think so, Jim. And that's Olivier, because he's not Olivier. playing. Sorry, Olivier. <laughs> he's not in this game. Does Strider go for the 1D on the ball? He's not in this game, yeah. He's going to struggle, isn't he? Olivier's I don't know, I don't know. Will Strider go for the one D? Like it's quite good. It's a quite a good one D, right? Because well, the you've thing got is, strip and you pop it out here, and your whole team's there. Is it worth even if because because he has got two scoring threats through? It means going for the ball is like probably better than just blitzing one of them and tagging the other, right? Exactly. It's, yeah. It's a weird kind of oxymoron -y thing. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what the answer is here. This is a tricky, tricky, tricky turn. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the die for ball encounter score. I do like that. I'm, I'm surprised by how rowdy... Seabrose is because he was definitely in for all the five pluses in the in the NAF games that I was watching that he played. So this is looking like Blitz the rubbish one and then Quad Tag the dancer. Yeah, but then he just dodges the dancer out and throws it to him in the end zone. Like it's mad. Right, he can't dodge out, can he? Because he's gonna be four, oh, he four, three, two. Oh, he's double scaled. Oh my god. Yeah. Just a push. But yeah, like four three two is too easy, isn't it? Like, like, that, uh, you're right. Like you're right. Four three two is too easy. Like even yeah, even, even even getting all these. Plus you could blitz him out as well. Like, but even if he doesn't blitz him out or anything, if he just dodges out, four three two isn't is not fucking hard to do. And the other thing Strider hasn't done as of yet is put his own score in for any either. That's... Mm. So, like, he's got a free roll at this, and it doesn't matter if it fails, because Strider can't score. Yep. <laughs> Hand-rolling all of the dice. Wait, he's just... He can't, you can't let, leave the dancer a 2-plus out. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so he could blitz this guy, couldn't he? He could blitz this catcher. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he can he can he can actually come all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then he's got a 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, G, 5, yeah, 2, 2, and then like pass it to him in the end zone. That's fucking, this is pretty easy, isn't it? Pretty easy. And it's all because you gave him the free 2 through, right? Yeah. Who doesn't give him the free 2 through? It's not that easy, right? No. You needed the power doing it this way, but he did have three yeah. to tackle, so. So, yeah, two, two plus dodge, two plus. Two, two, two plus dodges with uh, dodge. Gets the only issue well. with this. The only issue with this is if he fails the pass, his dancer gets served. <laughs> yep. Apple in and works. Two two in the end zone. And this is what a two plus three plus pass? I think mean, you might have to GFI once. Yeah, I think we might have to GFI twice. Boom. Pass catch. Bosh. Another turn eight score, man. The boy's a legend. Yep. Man, he was on the ropes there, wasn't he? He was on the ropes, but like the like the Dave or Nath game that we just watched, by like kind of by by kind of pursuing him there, he left the door open to run away, didn't he? And uh, and then, but it was a good breakthrough. I, I actually, like, I was really, it was a good turn. I, I like the turn from Stride, but as you said, it did give him that three plus two plus through, got a couple of scoring threats through, and uh, yeah, that was it. Super interesting. So Monitor is unlikely to lose now, isn't he? Well, It's a real shame, though. I can't see that turn again if he'd put the Lino on the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd love to see what that turn was. Yeah. With the Lino on the other side. Yeah, interesting. I mean, probably similar, right? Because he only, he only got two players through. So they would have just been um, a lot further back. But they would have still been through. Because he could have still like two plus like the corner, right? So they would have been probably like three squares back. Um, that was interesting though. Yeah, I think that was too passive. I think you have to play less passive now in like the current rule set, right? With with the multiple rerolls and stuff. It used to be that making people roll a bunch of dice on turn eight was really good. But now that they can stack their rerolls for it, it's not so good. Basically, there's your extremely basic uh, logic for why passiveness is not as good. These days. I mean, he has to put dodge on the OS, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, the weakness of having so many dodge players. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can't not select dodge. One catcher is out. This skills player's catcher, so yeah. He's got to be going whole method here, sure. Surely. He seems to like the whole method. It does well, um, I mean, here it makes sense. I'm not gonna shoot. I think here don't want using size step makes no sense. Oh, so he's gonna punch yeah, sorry, I get what you mean. He's gonna punch that lino in the middle and then fill the square and then just blitz around the side where I go. I think blitz yeah, yeah, yeah. into there, into there. But you need to fill Got the square clear. on the left of him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you fill this one. Blitz him. 
push him to there. The only problem with that is that like, block him up to there, and then block him up to there, and he's there. And then it's like a three, three, two, right? Here. Yeah. No thrower though for Strider, right? No, no, he went three, three catches. Three catches. So yeah, um, Monitor will have a better one turn attempt. The side step is very good for one turns. I guess there's an argument for doing it a bit differently um, so that you blitz this guy and then sidestep up to that bay and then you get all the hits and stuff. But um, I mean, this is like the easier way of doing it. Probably want to get it straight to him, right? Because he's in one one tackle zone now, and this is close to level B to him. So, like one, two, three, four, five. He's a bit far away. This catcher, no, the catcher. Does this catcher have to block? The catcher doesn't have to block, does he? No. This catcher doesn't have to block, so the catcher steps up and hands it off right now. Okay, I'm bamboozled. I'm absolutely bamboozled now. Bamboozled. <clears throat> Complete bamboozlement. Complete bamboozlement. Yeah, I thought he was doing that, but I thought he was going to... Oh, he's going to chain this onto this so that then he's got dodge, whereas this one doesn't have dodge. So he's, he's doing it so he gets to blitz a dodge player. That guy, the, is it a catcher, is it? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it. It was so, it was so that he could pl blitz a dodge player. Well, it's if he powers him as well, yeah, and if he then he doesn't, him, yeah, re he yeah. doesn't have to re-roll it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it's actually yeah, it was very actually clever. Really good, yeah. yeah, it was actually really good. Very nice. Should have very nice. Though. You should have followed. No, no, he can size up to there. He should have still followed. He doesn't need to size up to there. Yeah, he should just follow. Hmm. You can sidestep up to here. So he should have just followed, inside. right? Like, there was, there was, it was incorrect. And I followed. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh no, it wasn't incorrect because now he can power. Yeah, okay, no, it was completely correct. Errata, errata. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever played Blood Bowl before, Jimmy? Oh, shut up. It's <laughs> hard, okay? So three, I thought three. I was a moron, then I met you. <laughs> wow. Three, three, two, 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 or something, isn't it? Yes, yeah, three, three, two, two, two. Yumi's washed up. Well, if you saw his last Super League game, you wouldn't. You know, I mean, you might have cause for concern. Shut up. <laughs> uh, there might be some. Oh. Oh, you didn't jump? Because I guess there were so many dodges. Just start with a jump. Interesting. I wonder if that's correct. I mean, I guess it is. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done it. So there you go, 1-1. One, one. Monitor might be losing one. <laughs> the 1-0 up looked like Monitor had secured the draw, but now it looks like very, very, very dodgy. And, Brilliant. uh... And Strider has down firm and one side step, so you can make it a little bit trickier. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit harder st scoring against Strider, yeah. And he's only got 10 players. So yeah, it's this is going to be very tricky for Monitor. But you know, if anybody can, uh, if anybody can can score anyone somebody else's offense, it's Wood Elves, isn't it? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't remember the Olivier game. I can't remember whether Olivier scored a one turner against him or not. I don't think he did actually. But I mean, like, honestly, I think it's the expected result, right? If you're, like, a realist, <clears throat> like, you've got to kind of expect them to score the one-turner. Yeah, I mean, that it's it's pretty... I don't have to expect them, but it, it's it's decent. But, like, yeah, you've got to expect the worst-case scenario, right? So. Well, you don't have to. 
You don't have to expect the worst. And case the fact scenario. was, he was he was down to ten, wasn't he? He was down to ten, yeah, which really makes the defence a lot harder. Yeah. Good game, Blood Bowl, this one as well. Yeah. Been, been a bit of a treat tonight, Jimmy. Yeah. Couple of good Apart games. From all the uh, horrendous insults I've faced. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> Solid day, we're hey. We're hey. Do you remember Sunny Day? I, I used to drink loads of that, <laughs> and then the, obviously it got discontinued. And I dread to think what I was drinking gallons <laughs> of. On a daily basis, <laughs> the tropical sunny day. Oh my God! Absolute <laughs> heaven in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, definitely some naughty stuff in that. <laughs> Chemically toxic, yeah, basically. Turning kids orange, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the secret you know? of Trump. <laughs> yeah, he just loves sunny day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, like he, he could just double one this pickup and lose. And like, there's multiple turns where if they roll a double one, they're, you know, unhappy about it. <laughs> yeah. But that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing that is unbearable about Wood Elf coaches, is they always moan about these double ones <laughs> after they've done 27 dice rolls of absolute nonsense. Yeah. And you're just like, mate, like. He's just four, three, 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 two, two, <laughs> effortlessly, <laughs> and you're moaning about the double one. Yep. Not use the re-roll the whole game. Yeah. Oh, he's got wrestled. So uh, that's why I think that's I find Skaven coaches unbearable. He's got wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrestled. Yeah, I fucking hate Skaven coaches. I mean, sorry. Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> I find them unbearable. I feel I feel like they're the coaches I I least having like common. <laughs> Somehow that sounds way but, worse than like just being comically nasty to them. <laughs> <laughs> like I can relate to elf coaches. Like, I I don't like I frown upon their practices, but like. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I'm not wary of them instantly, <laughs> you know, whereas with Skaven coaches, I'm normally like, wow, well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, who's in the, who's in the cellar? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Kaylon, I need the sound effects back, don't I? Flip me. <laughs> I do, I do, I frown upon... <laughs> Especially the uh, the dark elf, dark elf coach. I frown upon their practice. <laughs> I mean, pro elves are just like fun havers. That yeah, are, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't relate to fun havers, but I understand. No, the no, it's just yeah, <laughs> mate. The fun havers always the most miserable people at tournaments. Like <laughs> easily, easily the most miserable people at tournaments. Well, yeah, because they're losing all the games and somehow yeah, yeah. That okay, isn't okay. Fun. okay. <laughs> I, I thought I'd do this for some fun. How's it been? Oh, it's been awful. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fun. Yeah. Great. Mm. They are against me in the uh, in the play-ins. What are pro elves? Pro elves yeah. Here we go. Some Galencho, pressure. Wasn't it? Galencho got me. It's oh, you were dwarfs as well. Yeah, those dwarfs. Yeah. To be fair, I played incredibly to get Bad myself thing. into a chance, and then like one turn. I didn't make safe moves first, and it fucked me. Yeah, Kalon, Jesus. Don't be a fun heavy. Learn your lesson, and don't be a fun mm. heavy. Aim separated. Yeah, very aggressive. Like, you know, it's, it's saying he plays oh, he's like dwarves. Be, isn't it? it's it's saying be. he's playing like dwarves. Dwarves could never do this, so. <laughs> Interesting to see how uh, Strider reunites his team, because this is a very thin team and very walled off isn't it? I think uh, he might use family tree. Mm. Get DNA tests. 
Yeah. Link up with some cousins. Oh, it's a good idea that. He's been in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, he's got no tackle. So if he had tackle, he could he could blitz this, and I guess he can wrestle. Wrestle punch <coughs> him. That's probably his best bet, isn't it? Dodge off with this guy with dodge, punch him, and then uh, yeah, but he's blitz this guy. You like even like what does it what does it achieve, Jimmy? Oh, it gets you a cage. It's not a cage, is it? Yeah. Like how how fast is it? What's he carrying on? Is he carrying Dancer. on a? Oh, Dancer oh okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he needs to wrestle, and he can't one in nine. He kind of needs the power as well. He, he can just push him away, right? Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure pushing away is good enough. One, two, three. I four, don't know. Five, I... six, seven, eight. GFI, yeah. Oh, so he's not pushing away. He's pushing him out. I think he could have just pushed him away. I would have just pushed him away to here. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then like. Yeah, you'd have to double GFI. Oh no, you could just you could just dodge from him, right? He's not tackled. So you could go you could push him there and then go one, two I think he's following three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one GFI. But dodging a GFI and being a cage would have been pretty good, so I don't like this. Yeah, but I really don't like this push. Yeah. I think this was a mistake. Now he's got to dodge into the cage as well. Now he's gotta make the cage over here. And so he's got to get to here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he doesn't have to GFI, but he does. He can get. He can uh, make a cage around this guy. Oh, he's got a dodger here. He's got a dodger here for the corner up there. How's his time bank looking? He's Four minutes. Maybe a dodge out there. He's got two catches here. So yeah, I think he'll go here with the ball. All the way up here. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know where he's gone. One, two, three, four. He's got a J by him. No? No, no he's, just, he's not he's not doing what I would have done. Um which He's just got a 1D to clear that guy, and then he's got a 1D with tackle. He's got a 2D to clear him, he's a catcher. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is not what I would have done. I like my, my idea a lot more. <laughs> Only thing is, if he, gets, if he gets a push, then it's... He didn't oh, dodge the that... dodger. Oh, it's because he's yeah, pulling he's all the way around there. Down. Yeah, yeah, you had to do that, didn't you? Oh, it wasn't a dodger, it was a wrestler, it was his dodge. It was his dodge that made me think his guy was a dodger. Uh... Alright, so all of those moves do make it safe. Flip me. <laughs> mm. Well. Makes it a 5 plus dodge in. You can, you can block and then 4 plus dodge in and 1D the ball, right? This seems pretty good. Um, this player runs around. He, he won like 3 pluses him to the, here. And then he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1Ds him because you put someone up here so he can 1D him with strip. And then he sidesteps up to... Where does he sidestep to? Down here, I guess. Something, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, he's, he, wherever he goes, he's going to be surrounded by players, isn't he? Up there for the catcher, down here for the catcher, catcher. Yeah, it's so 1D, doing all this to 1D isn't as good as it, 3 plus and then 2 GFIs. Okay, oh. Two, so putting him there instead. He's filled the square. He does do the 1D, so I guess he is going for the, uh... That's like, a. Uh... Four plus dodge in, no? Yeah, four plus dodge in, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he's do he needs to cancel this assist as well, which means now he has to base the tree because he's moved this guy there instead of putting somebody in here. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm kind of surprised he's going for this because this is. Uh, you go with triple, yeah. This is a lot of dice rolls. Yeah, so you almost guaranteed to use a reroll on it. Oh my god. 
doesn't go. Oh, I, okay. oh I hate my god! I hate the reroll because this is. Oh. This has got very good odds to be caught by somebody else on Strider's team. But I mean, he does have players. He hasn't even tagged the catcher, is he? Like, yeah. The catcher down side. He's... All right, but the problem is, if you sidestep down, you uh, you want it next to the. No, I don't even know. You got to go up and yeah, right. Yeah, up, up makes the recovery harder for the monitor. Oh my god, what a scatter. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think this was worth. The re rolls. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. Like, you know, I saw that play obviously straight away. I called it, but the, the thing is, it's just like it's not that likely to be that good, is it? And it cost him two re rolls. Well, yeah, it's like it was the one turns out the window, and it? it's just uh, yeah, it almost was already right with the side step on the stand for them. It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. easy, but I don't know how good monitors one turning skills are. Maybe, uh, I don't think we've needed to see it. To be honest with you, mm. I can't. I honestly cannot remember the Olivia game at all now. <laughs> it's gone. It's like a raise from the dawns of my. <laughs> I remember the Kfo game, and he, he definitely didn't need to use it next. No, it was one nil on it. Yeah. It's the pal. E age. Mm. Oh, great. Yeah, that was a very costly two reroll turn. And his reward is a stun dancer. <laughs> but it's still tricky though. For Strider. It is, yeah, yeah. Very tricky. So yeah, they, you know, he's got some value from from it still. He's gonna he's gonna clear the ball, but then and then what? <laughs> Does get to the power line though. He's managed to find the only one without dodge. <laughs> oh that's the thrower, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gee, if I hand off, that's pretty good, isn't it? Three dice, this guy. And what are you scoring earlier? No, he's not. He's just. I mean, oh yeah, he's just. He's already in. A, he's already in a cage. Errata, errata. <laughs> he was literally already in a card cage. Cage, cage. He has the three dice for the tree as well. I can't speak English. Yep. And you can even put this this player back in case it's a triple skull. Everyone's favourite Danish player. Big Kev. Oh, actually, I don't think triple skull is Danish. I think mean, it's Dutch. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Sorry, Seabro. Seabro is everybody's favourite Danish yeah. player. Sorry, sorry, Seabro. Can you use the tree? I mean, it's a three dice. Yeah, it's a three dice. If it was a two dice, then. And he could have like he could have just done the blitz first, and then like had the had the dancer there in case he double scored on. Hargrim, what did Hargrim say about a tree? Oh, oh, favorite Dane. Oh, okay. Favorite Dane. Hargrim though is Ladonian, and Kfog is English, so. It might actually be Seabrooks. <laughs> is that is that Ladonian thing still going? Is it is it still ongoing? I oh no, sorry, no, it's not Ladonian, is it? Vol only Volk is Ladonian. They're all this. Uh, where 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 are they all from? Thor's German. No, no. Like, where where do they represent then? Ladonia is only Volk. They all go for the same. Oh, Andorra. Andorra. That's it. Andorra. Yeah. Andorra. Yeah. yeah. Tanks. <laughs> well, here we have a nothing turn from Monitor and uh, maybe a huge turn from Strider here. Wow, that turn ended fast. Yeah, and it, there's just a gaping hole, isn't there? A huge gaping hole. And surely. And there's a pretty gaping hole around here which keeps your team together better, so I guess we'll see the blitz on this dancer and, and then move down to here with everybody. No? Ooh, Le oh, Le skulls. Le Dublais. Down to one reroll. Anything can happen. God, I hate Woodies. Jeez. 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 Louise. I much prefer him in 2020 than I did in 2016. Just yeah. for the hey, you will. Help BC. 
It's funny, by the way, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you've only seen these guys as red and blue, but their their actual colours are all identical. Imagine trying to play this game if you didn't know about that. <laughs> Fucking hell, or before they implemented this. Jesus. So this is a really great quality of life improvement, isn't it? Old school um, Vengabus here from Strider. He does need the driver and puts it in. I kind of prefer the H cage these days, but Vengabus is fine, of course. I'm a big fan of the H cage, but I tend to find no cage is what I tend to roll with. <laughs> so he didn't get away. Interesting. I would have, I would have tried to move downfield a fair bit there if I was stride it. Interesting that he hasn't. You seem very eager to get down the field tonight, Jim. Well, it's, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm too eager. Maybe I've played, you, like, you know, too eager. much. I mean, he's only, like, four squares out of scoring range. Well, mm -hmm. five. Yeah, but, like, the, you, you need your whole team together, right? Like, that's the thing. You want your whole team together. Your whole team... To like move together, so oh, this is too easy. Yeah, well. Now you can move down like on the right flank, very safe. Ooh. Oh, it's a tree. Thing is, if you're not moving down the field, why aren't you dappering? <laughs> I mean, he's beating him up, isn't he? He's easy. Oh, two, four, six, eight. So he's two players up. Yeah, but is he beating him up, or is he just going to dodge away from all these players? Well, yeah, I mean, like, he was beating him up a little bit. Blitz this guy. Dodge, blitz this guy. And then dodge these two off as well. So he's going to, like, make three dodges this turn. Including with a ball carrier. So he probably doesn't want to actually blitz with a ball carrier. He probably doesn't want to dodge with a ball carrier. So that's why he's probably moving that tree in there, and then he's going to blitz this guy. But now this tree means he probably is going to have to dodge with a ball carrier. And 136 away from disaster. Don't tell me the odds. <laughs> He's very eager to get down the field, isn't he, Strider? I don't know why. Wee! <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a lot safer. Like, honestly, like, there's a lot to be said of just waiting for. A better opportunity. Like it's weird how f it's quite funny how you get a better opportunity when you don't expect it. Mm. Like this looks much safer than the last one. Do you reckon? I know it looked fine last turn. It's full Venga bus. Oh, he's like, someone's got to get on that stripper. Well, hey, I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? He's got to be yeah, blitzing he did, with that. Yeah, he blitzed with the rest. Yeah. Of oh, vanity dodge there. <laughs> Love a vanity dodge. Yep, classic. At least, he, at least he corrected his mistake. Yeah. Oh, he didn't blitz. Oh, he's already blitzed some yeah, more, and he's blitzed the wrestler. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Apologies. Rata, Rata. Ow! Oh, Ow! Foul, yes. foul the dancer, yeah. I, I mean, I do like fouling a dancer. If there's oh, one player off. that I'll foul in... Uh, I'll get a goal! It's a five! Oof. In Naf, it's a dancer, isn't it? And it is a stripper, so... Yeah, dancers and gutter runners, isn't it? And sometimes, vampire runners. Mmm. I don't like to make a habit of that, but sometimes it's the only thing you can do to stop them easily taking your ball. Bob. 
Arsch. Für Schmonner. Für Who's that, Jim? <laughs> Let's say, uh, I don't know if you, <laughs> don't know if you know this, but the dialect uh, in the French city where Monitor's from. That's oh, Monitor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <shmonitor. laughs> Yeah, exactly. And funnily enough, the uh, Strider comes from a particular mountain in Switzerland, and they they pronounce his name mm, Strider. <laughs> <laughs> or Olivier in, in or, some dialects. Or sometimes Olivier, yeah. <laughs> Not a bad turn from a sh monitor there. He <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally should change his chain <laughs> his coach name to sh monitor now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you blitz the catcher here in the like, cage there. Yeah, he's got a dodge off tackle this time though. Yeah. Take cage there, and then cage there, and then score. 15 here, 16, uh, like 14 here, 15 here, 16 here. Oh, it's, to do that. it's so it miserable when you're just praying for a 1 in 36. Yeah. But it's often just life against Woody, isn't it? Yeah. Like, all you can do is make it a 1 in 36, and 1 in 36 times they fall over and then pick up the ball and score the next turn. Yep. Oh, that's the tackle, yeah, okay. I was thinking that was the tackle, his tackle. So, yeah, maybe just wrestle blitz this one, right? Because then that at least make, gives him a 2 plus out. So, wrestle blitz him is an unassisted 2D and it opens up this for the 2 plus out. And then you yeah, well, you wrestle out. with the rear wrestle, right? Uh, no, oh. this one can he goes up in like downfield. Well, wait, I mean, if you get the, the 1 in 9, right? You can, at least you can move that one further. Yeah, no, I, I liked it. It's funny because yeah, we both did it. I don't know. I thought this seemed more natural to me to do it with that one. Yeah, I mean, that, I is, that is the that usual rule: is do it with the furthest away player. But he's also covering the failed dodge, right? Yeah, I guess. he is a little yeah. bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. He's in a better spot now. For all of your failed dodges here, <laughs> your four failed, your four failed dodges, he's in the best spot. And you've got to you've got to just dodge the ball next, and then this guy can get up here. Yeah, this guy can go up there. And the catcher can get a bit further back. Yeah, I guess the catcher. Can you did a dancer back. after him, didn't you? You did a dodger than a dancer. Um, this one. One, two, the tackle three, one, the one on the floor. Six, seven. No, no, this this isn't the done. This is just a. Oh, um, that's off tackle. Yeah, well. it's off tackle. Yeah, so you don't want to do these. Two oh, things. it's just the line out. I thought it was a tackle. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh that's a, yeah, yeah, I did as well. But no, this is the line. Out. So, oh, so yeah, you want to do oh. this dodge off and probably tag that catcher. He's got to go for a leap in this one, really. Okay, just there. And then, and then you can do your dodge. This one, this one can dodge. Maybe even take the tackle. Yeah. Could have dodged this one first, right? Would have been one thirty-six. Interesting. Mm. Maybe he wants to still keep this uh, this strip attack, but he can't get anywhere. So I feel like he should have put him somewhere. Maybe he was going to GFI, right? Like you don't know where he's going to go with him at the end. But I quite like just tagging this uh, this catcher because he's strength two, so it's you know two players to punch him, and he's in a really good spot, right? He'd be screening all of these. So I really like putting this guy in there. I really like that move. Here we go, for all the apples. Yeah, it looks like we're going for it, doesn't it? No, oh, we're not no. going for it. And he gets wrestled and he can't re-roll it. And he misclicks. Realistically, you can't re-roll it. Bleh. 
For, if I was going to blitz anybody, I would have blitzed the uh, catcher then, right? To, to avoid exactly that scenario. Yeah, but he couldn't, could he? Oh, he could have gone around the back. Oh, yeah, no, he couldn't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, errata, errata. Oh, uh, well, yeah, he had to. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, I would, have, I would have gone for the leap one day, as shit as it is. I think. Because he just two pluses everybody out, doesn't he, again? Yeah. This is the thing. <laughs> There's no tackle anywhere now either. Even if there was, he just two pluses everything away, doesn't he? Like you're just not doing anything. Like ho praying oh. your opponent rolls a one or a double one is no way to win a game, is it? You know. So, uh, yeah. Like that's what I mean. But that's why always that's what that's how all games versus Woody's end. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just you just sit there. And you do the old classic canoe of just going, roll a one, <laughs> roll a one. <laughs> yeah, it's really rough. It's a really rough to yeah. talk for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you should be easily, easily be able to, like, cage up down here. And then go in on turn 16. Beautiful. Beautiful course. Thing is though, he's definitely he's definitely leaping in this next turn, right? Yeah, so, yeah, he definitely is this turn. Yeah. So maybe try and figure out a way to foul the. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if you foul the, the tackler because it's going to go with the stripper. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, even though one's red and one's blue, I'm getting really confused over who stances who. <laughs> Does have a good think, doesn't he? Loves a good think, he does. Which is fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, well, more than fair enough. I was just thinking that maybe I should think more. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I made that mistake in in my game today. Like, I just. I thought just about it at first. I th no, no, no. I thought about it at first. And, uh. And then. And then, like. I thought about where, where I, I thought that I had to not follow, right? I thought I have to not follow before I did the blitz. And then I did the blitz and it was like, do you want to follow? And I looked, just glanced at the board and I was like, oh yeah, I'll follow. And I was like, oh shit, I shouldn't have followed, you know? But I was like, oh. if I'd just taken a little bit longer to decide whether to follow or not, I would have maybe read the board better. But yeah, I just misread the board. Yep. Another belter of a story from Mr. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Jim. Wow. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> My life is complete. <laughs> Look, I'm not a stand-up comedian, all right, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sit down a lot. Hey. Not actually that much when you think that apparently everybody does. What sits sits down? Yeah. With all these crazy stats. What stats? What are you talking about? <laughs> and your your reason for the stats being that way? Oh right, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, what was that AI prediction of the future? Like, is that an actual thing, or is that just a meme? It's just like obviously somebody it's like somebody just like you not know, said make a video of this. So that was the the person's idea, but the, the Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean it's probably not wrong, right? Yeah, it's not it's not a million miles away, is it? Yeah. I was like holy <laughs> I think you um dodge and then leap. The problem is you can sidestep to there, but then like, if it goes out it's got to be sidesteps to here and it could go out, so I think the play is a 3 plus dodge and then a 3 plus leap, right? Because leaping into here is terrible. Oh, and no, this is. Oh. Famous. So I think. Uh, I think. I think that Monitor needs to be a little bit more. Uh, ball sacky. In, yeah, a bit more ball sacky, like. Needs to recognise when it's time to be very aggressive. Well, he well, he was very aggressive at the start, wasn't he? He, he was, did the yeah, he, he did the rerolled the GFI and then he rerolled the the one D and then after that he just didn't 
really go for it. Yeah, maybe it was like, uh, maybe it was just the like... Two re-rolls just killed him. Yeah. yeah Psychologically. Maybe, yeah, maybe it just was like a, a game, like a one game thing of like, his bottle went this particular game and it's not how he plays normally. Like maybe on, on another day he would have, you know, gone for it. This is just 2Ds, isn't it? Like a 2D without... A blockless block and then a block full block. Or it's just a two plus dodge. But the blocks are better, right? Are they? Yeah. That's not. He's got two counter assists, that Kaiser. Well, you, you move this guy in there. And oh, then right. It's a one in nine block and then another one. One in eight one. But yeah, rather than. Okay. And then. Ball oh, so you can just blitz. block with him first and then blitz. So this is. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see that. Oh, blitz for, for the wrestle. Blitz for the wrestle. Blitz for the wrestle, yes. Yeah, so, so it's only one block this block. That's way better. I don't know why. why block plus so block. I don't know why I was so completely stupid. But there you go. It's been, it's been like. Yeah. It's been two very thought provoking games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, like blocking is just better because it's 1 in 9 or 1 in 36 instead of. But you can re roll. It's way better, isn't it? Way so, better. Way better. Can monitor score a one turn. He's got ten players. He's up against a side stepper and a stand firmer. It's not easy. It's really hard. <laughs> and he's got no side step himself as well, which is also a thing, right? Yeah. He's gonna have to do home effort, he's gonna have to dodge him behind a tree. He's going to have to build a square. Oh, I know he's going to have to do whole method, and he's just going to have to do whole method. Just going to have to dodge in behind the tree on a five up. Whole methods. And then what? He needs how many pushes? Three, is it now? Yeah. That's hard, isn't it? It's really hard. Oh, I don't know. I think I prefer one square. I guess the good news is he's only got nine players to defend it. But I, I, I like making the dodge behind the tree harder. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, there we go. That will do it. That will fix it. And also, like, defensive assists on the hit as well, right? Yep. But the only issue with this is the, like, what's it, timeout, isn't it? Free score. Mm. Yeah, D just owns. And also, thinking of the quick snap is interesting. So, he needs to factor the quick snap. So, he wants like a catcher on the LOS somewhere. So, he can quick snap in and then, like, you know, then funnel him forward with all of these whole method shenanigans. Shenanigans. Um, so, he needs to think about quick snap and he needs to think about, uh, you know, obviously, yeah, how the fuck he's going to do it with the whole method. And also, he needs to think about. Um, does he just not even try and go for getting a timeout? Because if he goes for the one turn, gets a timeout, and it's suddenly worse than if he just set up for the timeout. You got to set up for the one turn. Yeah, I think so. No matter how hard it is, and it's pretty fucking hard. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really freaking hard. One. I get looking at this. Is like I guess you've got a four plus dodge in, so that you can That's then a five. That's no a five. four plus dodge in, so that you can then five plus one D, right? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just knock out, just just power the uh, just power the side stepper, and then you can, then you can actually. Uh, oh, I don't know if I like that. No, I don't. But that looks like what he's doing, doesn't it? Oh no, no, I guess not. No. He's going right. I don't know. This seems uh, wrong. He, he might he might be leaping in, but then even that's like two negative assists, right? Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Solid defence. Well he can't move the other west. No. Who's he pushing the catcher? So he could just make a wall in front of the catcher. Yeah, you can just move like a player here. <coughs> Pretty much stops it, right? Just a player here. 
And then you could like have two there and two there. It doesn't stop it entirely because you can still go behind the tree. And... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, basically. It's very, very hard. Very hard. Ta -ta, Hang on. Ta -ta, ta -ta. Now you just run around the back, don't you? And what's that? Six plus dodge. Six a simple, in. A simple six plus dodge. I can't believe he's left it on Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'd have done. The two like that and the two like that. Yeah, for sure. I would have had a player here though. Man, imagine having a, a stand firmer, a side stepper, and a perfect defence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't get much harder to score even against this, does it? Flip me, guys. He's got a leap in, hasn't he? He's going to do something. Oh my god, it's happening! It's happening! That's the sort of one that you just hope it fails so you don't have to like show people that you've got no idea what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this bit out of the way, hopefully I don't pick up the ball. <laughs> yep. oh. So oh. yeah, he dodges in, gets the power. Rerolls, gets the push. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, run you ran. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, so nice. It was on, it was on. Yeah, it was, it actually was. It was, yeah, it was. It was, really hard it was, on, so it yeah. was very hard. Imagine if he'd on. saved those two rerolls and then he might have uh, he might have had it, mightn't he, if he had saved the rerolls. Um But you know, like he he, he had a go, didn't he? And it nearly uh, it nearly paid off, didn't it, overall? It was on, mate, it was on. Yeah. Yeah. Just if you got to push that, like I could, I could see it. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Thank you very much for the raid, Miss Beltree. No, no spoilers, please. Um, that was the table before we've just seen the monitor Strider game, and Strider won two one. So and that puts Strider top of the league on four points and Monitor on three. So there you go, uh, yeah, Strider getting the better of the Elfie games so far, only 3-2 versus Olivier and 2-1 versus Monitor. Um, pretty cool game, eh, Dimmy? Yeah, so what, he, oh, he played Dimmy, didn't he, in the first one, yeah. yeah. That was a decent game, decent game. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.